it has been six months since Russia launched its special operation in Ukraine. And slowly this war has transformed into a war between the collective West versus Russia. A war between US, NATO, Ukraine and Russia on the other side. And this clash of superpowers has increased the risk of a nuclear war. Shelling near Europe's largest nuclear power plant. Reports of shelling near Europe's largest nuclear power plant. At least three strikes hit power lines at the Zaporizhia plant, forcing the closure of one of the reactors. Both the sides are trying to control the Zaporizhia nuclear power plant, which has pushed the plant at the risk of a nuclear disaster. And therefore, the question is, will Zaporizhia going to be the next Chernobyl for Ukraine? The Chernobyl nuclear power plant is roughly 800 kilometers away from the Zaporizhia nuclear power plant. And in the year 1986, one of the reactors in the Chernobyl nuclear power plant exploded and demolished the reactor's building therefore releasing a large amount of radiation in the atmosphere. Compared to the other nuclear events in the past, the Chernobyl explosion had put 400 times more radioactive material into the Earth's atmosphere than the atomic bomb dropped on Hiroshima and was therefore the worst nuclear disaster recorded yet. The radioactive material released from the explosion spread very quickly outside Ukraine via air. The radioactive contamination was observed all the way to Sweden in the north, till Spain in the south, and radioactive rain was also recorded in some parts of the United Kingdom as well. The Soviet Union and the Rebels Reactor 4, the scene of the total meltdown. That explosion at a nuclear plant in the Soviet Union. Nuclear reactor in Ukraine's Chernobyl power plant. The explosions powerful enough to blow up. More than 2,000 people died in the aftermath of Chernobyl disaster. And this brings us to the question if Zaporizhia is going to be the next Chernobyl. As per Dimitro Kuleva, a Zaporizhia blow-up will be 10 times bigger than the Chernobyl disaster. But how true is this claim? Let's try to find out. As per experts, the Zaporizhia nuclear reactors are contained and therefore won't explode like the Chernobyl disaster. But this time they may mirror the Fukushima nuclear meltdown which happened in 2011. The six nuclear power reactors at Zaporizhia are not anything like what we had at Chernobyl. But these are pressurized water reactors which were brought online between 1985 and 1995. And unlike Chernobyl, the reactors are also built in with thick steel reinforced concrete containment units which are built to withstand extreme explosions such as an aircraft crash. And now as you can see in the image as well, the grey area is the containment portion which can actually withstand very heavy explosions. Therefore, it is safe to say that Zaporizhia is nothing like Chernobyl. But one might still ask, what if a misfire happens? and the reactor explodes. What if a missile hits the reactor and it explodes? What will be the worst case scenario then in that sort of situation? So let's figure out what's gonna happen. In the worst case scenario, the reactor containment would be destroyed by explosions or by a missile and the cooling system would fail. The radioactivity of both the reactor and the fuel pool would then freely escape into the atmosphere. 
and this risks making the entire plant inaccessible because of the high radiation levels which could then further lead to a cascade of other reactors and fuel pools each spreading large quantities of radioactivity into different wind directions across several weeks and it could make a large part of Europe including Russia in uninhabitable for at least many decades to come and over a distance of hundreds of kilometers a nightmare scenario and potentially a far worse situation than what we experienced in Fukushima and Chernobyl combined together.